Okay, I'm gonna run a little test print here. Settings, ink, test print, print quality. Okay. So the problem is this printer, it's a brother J8750DW. Stop printing the black. Um, it's just really not filling in. It's pretty poor quality, and no matter how, how many times I clean the print head, it still doesn't make a difference. So I got this um, cleaning pack. Hopefully it works, we'll see. EQ10, I don't know how you say it. Basically it just comes with a syringe, um, a little silicone tube and some adapters, and then this mystery juice. It's probably just isopropyl alcohol or something uh, repackaged. But look at my test print. Look how bad the black is. So I tried using um, Genuine Brother ink. I tried using an aftermarket and they both uh, failed miserably. So hopefully this will do the trick. All right, so I've got some bubble wrap waterproof layer here, just in case this gets messy. Uh, first step is to pull out all the old black ink. And pop these out. You can see I've got a genuine uh, brother cartridge in there right now, not working. It says to pull out all the ink packs. I'm gonna do that even though I'm not cleaning the colors, just the black. See those little nozzles is where you wanna take the ink out of. So this tube seems to sit fine here. Okay, and this little piece is supposed to fit in here, but there's already seems to be one in there. So maybe these are just extra for different colors or in case you lose them, two extra. So here I go, I'm gonna try to suck out all the black ink. Let's try this. Ooh, look at that. It's coming right out. Oh, look at all that beautiful ink. It's probably gonna get wasted. So you're supposed to suck the ink out, squeeze in the mystery juice, then clear that out and put ink back in. You're supposed to pull this out really slowly. So I'm trying to use kind of a method here, two fingers. I'm gonna stop here. Let's see, disconnect this, yep. And I'm gonna use this little cup, squeeze it all in here. Try to get some more out of here. If there is any left. So a little bit there, but seems like mostly air at this point. So the clean solution, they were showing, there's no hole in this cap. They were showing, you know, take another container and pour it in there and then suck it in because uh, you don't want to put this dirty nozzle or tube into the cleaning solution and uh, contaminate if you're gonna do other colors. As I can see from this that I just instantly got a bunch of ink contaminating my cleaning fluid there. And here we go. Let's, so this looks mostly black, but it is actually mostly cleaning fluid. And I know I got about 
almost a full syringe out of the printer. So I'm gonna put in maybe three quarters of a syringe full of this cleaning solution. So it says wait five minutes. I'll put these back in, wait five minutes, and I'm not gonna use the old ink. Wait five minutes. Then do the cleaning. Okay, so I cleaned it, push clean twice. I'm just gonna do a test print. Instructions say clean it several times, but I'm too anxious. <laughs> you gotta see this. Nothing on black. Should be black dots there. Color's looking amazing. <laughs> of course, I did nothing to it. Print quality check. Is the quality okay? No. Is the black okay? No. Is the color okay? Yes. Start cleaning. Still no black ink. Okay, maybe I try to, oh, wait. There is some black ink, because that's actually coming out really well. Let me try to print a page from my phone, see how, what happens. that lecture tiny house considered Casanova look at that grayscale nice and black all right it worked I'm stoked now we can print Woohoo! gotta try some color now <laughs> 